So, tubers? How's it going, guys? Well, uh, I've been asked this question by a couple friends of mine, and I've actually had a couple inbox messages saying, how the heck do you have two, or in some cases, three CD drives, DVD drives, whatever, in a laptop? And you're not using an external drive. Well, you can do this for the same with a desktop. You only have two drives, two like CD drives, but in your Windows, it says you have like three or four. Well, it's quite easy actually. Um, holy shit! Here we go. I'm just gonna go through here and show you real quick. It's really easy. Um, it takes a matter of just installing uh, one really easy, simple program. It's mainly used for if you're doing any downloading of programs or games or shit like that. And it's an, um, an ISO file. If you ever see that, it's basically because it's a virtual CD or DVD. So basically what you want to do is go to uh, your internet browser. going to want to go to your internet browser and once this thing opens there we go you're just going to want to go to google and type in demon tools demon tools is the program that i use so you go it's just uh, www.demon-tools.cc/eng/home all right, and then there you go, Demon Tools website and everything. And you're going to go to Downloads. It's free software that you can just download right from their website. Um, the one that I use, let's see here. There, there it is. The one I use is just Demon Tools Lite. It's, that's the current version. That's the one that I have. It is, I don't even know how big the file is, I don't remember, it's been a while. The file is 9,591,104 bytes, so about 9.5 megabytes. It's not a big file at all. And then you, all you do is download it, and I have already have it downloaded and installed actually. So we'll just go minimize this, open up this. To see, physically, I only have one drive, which is this one right here. Down right there. Physical. It's there. You can see it. But, I have another one, which is right there, and that is the virtual one, which I use quite often. Um, oops, wrong file here. You're going to basically want to go into... Where the hell? I got a lot of shit on here, guys. Sorry about this. Um, alrighty then. We'll break out the good old USB stick. Good old SanDisk 4 gig USB stick. This thing's been through hell. It's been through the washing machine. Those were some late nights. Alright. And then we're just going to go down to, there it is, there's the install file. Demon 4304 Lite. Just hit enter. And then you'll just run through. You'll do the, the mine's already installed, so but you'll go through right, you'll go through the installer. Let it install. It'll ask you to reboot your computer, let it reboot your computer, and it'll finish installation when it's rebooted. Then basically, you open Demon, it'll come up in the bottom taskbar here. So, you just click on it. Gee, no media. Oh my god. Okay. So there's a disk image that I'm going to select. It's for uh, the new game called Blur. And just so you guys know, by the way, it's an awesome game. There, there's absolutely nothing in my disk drive at all. It's going to
mount the image. And then, ta-da, there's nothing in my disk drive. And there we are. And all I got to do is hit play. And there we go. I am laughing. I'm now playing a game that I have downloaded that normally you would need the DVD in the computer for. And uh, it's playing off that virtual drive. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I don't want to update the game. One thing, um, if you do happen to download any game and it is an online-capable game, the majority of the time you'll find updates, and sh the game will find updates, and it'll ask you to update it. The majority of the time you cannot update a downloaded game because there's not a, it's not a real serial key. It's usually a ghost key or a key generator or just uh, a no CD crack which replaces the uh, installed EXE file with an EXE file that doesn't require um, the CD or DVD. So that's the only downfall about downloading games. You can't really update them. But uh, for the most part, it works pretty good. But anyways, guys, I just figured I'd let you know that. And uh, take care.